Group work can be a rich learning experience for students, helping them to develop new skills and improve their group performance through related assessments and feedback. For teaching staff, however, it remains a challenge to keep track of what's happening in a group whilst at the same time facilitating the process in the best way. For example, are you always aware of everyone's role and contribution to the group? What should you do when students aren't contributing equally, or so-called free riding? And how can you take all of this into consideration in your assessment? EdLab has created a guide to give you an insight into how to construct and assess group work within the Maastricht University learning environment, and how to monitor the individual contributions to group work specifically. This guide offers recommendations based on successful practices with group work within all UM faculties. Given the vastness of this topic, this guide doesn't cover all aspects of group work, nor does it provide a comprehensive overview of all theoretical perspectives on group work scenarios in higher education. But it does cover how to design group-focused education taking constructive alignment into account, how to design group work assignments, how to compose your group, and how to effectively monitor and assess group work. One tool which could help in assessing the individual contribution to group work is the Feedback Fruit Group Member Evaluation Tool. This tool offers the possibility for students to evaluate the contributions of their group members. When using this tool, you can choose from three peer review scenarios. Number one. Students work in a group, but complete an individual assignment, perhaps a presentation, for example. The students are then randomly and automatically assigned an individual peer to give feedback to on this individual assignment. Number two. Students contribute to their work within the group, and then they are randomly and automatically assigned a peer from within their own group to review their individual contribution to the group work. Number three. Students work in their groups together on a group product, presentation, poster or report, for example. The students are then randomly and automatically assigned the work of a different group to review. You can find out more about setting up a group member evaluation and all the assignment options. For example, setting deadlines, self-assessment, review anonymity and grading by following this link. You can also see the tool in action here.